this right here is just a razor frame that's been sitting in my backyard for a while. I've been wondering what to do with it. Uh, it's not use, uh, useful for any like uh, builds because the front fork is bent. This was probably my second ever razor frame and it's just been sitting in uh, my backyard just rusting away. Um, in this video, my side of the backyard will be pretty overgrown. But uh, I think today we're gonna test the durability. Uh, I have borrowed an airsoft gun. I have tried it out. And we're gonna test out the durability, just how strong this actual metal frame is. Cause this seems strong, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, so it's not useful. I've been thinking of selling it. But yeah, it just all comes down to, we'll see. So let's let's maybe go load up the airsoft gun. So right here I have the airsoft gun. Um, so I still gotta load it and everything. But yeah, this is it. It's an army green. Uh, so just first of all, we, we just gotta load up the magazine. So we have 27,000 bullet, uh, bullets. I'm not gonna use all of them. Uh, it's way too much. I'm only just going to use a small handful because I don't really need that much. Pretty much next, uh, after we've loaded the mag, somehow, going to right here. So in order to practice, I need a target, which right here, I have printed one out, and this is what I'm going to be shooting at. So yeah, I printed out a picture of a target. That whole target thing is meant to be a joke, but at the same time, it's not a joke, because I'm actually going to be shooting at it. Because, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just want to. There. a target so now let's see if we can actually go shoot the gun but really quickly so right here are the dents in the fence and that's that's a big dent but yeah let's go shoot a target so yeah this is my overgrown backyard um so we've got the gun here pew pew no uh, not yet so we're just gonna put up the sights right here and then it's on safety right now so let's see when we take it off um it's gonna oh yeah so here's a lock so you can't pull this back we're gonna pull that back and now i think it's ready to shoot let's just test it out oh yeah it's ready Yeah, so, uh, we just shot the target. For some reason, one of the... is dry firing on me, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let me figure it out, guys. Just a sec. So, yes, I did get out back working. Hold on. Here. I'm going to try the target. I got the target anyway so with the target shot i'm not gonna put up the other one i don't feel like it so we're just gonna get right to the razor frame i guess okay so my plans have changed a little bit instead of shooting the whole frame because there's still the controller connected with uh, which might still work and i don't want to damage that at any point so we're just gonna shoot the rear swing arm uh and then i'm just going to 
have some fun, I guess, put the other paper target up. So yeah, let, 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 let's see how Razor did their frame, or at least the rear fork. Because it's mainly the rear forks that break and the front forks that break, so. Crossing fingers that it doesn't make a dent because I just want to see, does it make a dent or does it not? And I'm um, like, you know what, if it doesn't, that's that's good metal right there. So let, let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna spin the bottom part again, make sure none of the bullets come out of the mag. Okay, now moment of truth, I'm standing back because I don't wanna ricocheting, I think. So there's safe semi-auto. I've been having it on semi, so now it's time to try auto. Again, dry fires. Come on. I might actually have to take out the magazine, which is not good. Let's try one last time. Try old semi. Ugh. This is what happens when I try to shoot by myself. I don't even get what I'm doing. Okay. Mag loaded. Spinning a little. Come back. Auto. Let's try this out. Dude. Why won't it shoot? If you know how to shoot an airsoft gun, please write in the comments or call me. Literally, tell me how to even use this thing. Because I'm actually kind of sitting here getting annoyed now. But, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. It only shot two bullets. I have no idea what I'm doing. Or how I'm supposed to do this. But, dude. But, yeah, so I guess this is cut short. I'll have supervision and I'll put some clips in the next YouTube video. But for now, say goodbye to this. So the go-kart, just by looking at it, you see that there's something kind of different about it. It's because I have no spoiler. So the reason why I took it off is because um, just the spoiler was just making it a little bit like... So, first of all, it, w it wasn't this... Oh, I have no idea what I'm even talking about anymore. But, um, the reason why I took off the spoiler was because it fully cracked. There was a small crack in it. And now it's fully cracked. So, yeah, I'm without a spoiler for a while. Until I, like, blew it or something. There's a bump here. My uh, front splitter always bends under when I go over it. The thing is, I love this go-kart. I love the look. I love the speed. I love the performance. Uh, I, I'm thinking of getting it still wrapped. I just have no idea. Man, I'm just kind of disappointed that the whole um, airsoft thing didn't really work out because I thought it would be cool. I want to see what it can do to sheet of metal, honestly. If it can do that to wood. But, so I found out the problem. I didn't pull, uh, put enough bullets in the magazine. So that's the primary reason why it wasn't uh, shooting out a bunch. That it would only shoot out a bullet every couple of seconds. So yeah, that's probably the primary reason with that. Yes, I do still have my RSF. Um, I haven't sold it. I haven't been able to sell it. It's been off the listing for about a month now. So I thought like, I won't bother with it. So right now it's back on the listing. But man, I just love this go-kart's features. 
just with the fact where I can do the wall. I can have it sound like a car with the engine speakers, and then I can also play Bluetooth, which is a big good thing with the speaker down there. It's just the power of this thing. Just the power of this thing makes like such a highlight in this because you're driving like a Tesla. You're driving just like a Tesla would, which uh, I I love the Cybertruck, honestly. Especially since I even have one. But, um... Yeah. That's just with the gold car. The RSF, it still has this new motor working properly. Literally brand new. Uh, with the new motor, I've never really used it. I think I'm going to be starting to use it back up again. Also, a good thing is, is that... So, another question is, this is just, like, pretty much just the difference, or I'm just revealing everything because my next video is probably just going to be uh, my collection. Just That's just a sneak peek of what's up next um, for the video. So, I'm just going to do my whole collection. I'm going to talk about my collection. Um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to pretty much just reveal all I have. So, uh, that's what the video. And the next and maybe last thing of this video uh, that I'm going to talk about is um, the white go car. So, you guys are probably asking why don't I ever drive the white go car? And I'm like, you know what, well this is faster, it's just more efficient, it's more fun, it has more battery life. And the thing is, I'm not really outside 24-7 as much as I used to. So, um, that's just pretty much speaking of the white go part, is that this is just more battery efficient. I don't even drive the Razor RSF. So, um... Yeah, that's probably going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.